Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie Vio, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So if you are one of my subscribers, you know that I review lots of different platforms where you can make money by doing all sorts of different things, micro tasks, transcription, and another thing that you can do to earn money online is to test websites. And this actually pays better than transcription and better than micro tasks. The issue is that sometimes it takes a lot of effort to get qualified to be a tester and to be approved or meet the criteria to test the certain website that they want testers for. So if you go to my channel and um, you can scroll down under home, scroll down all the way to the bottom, you'll see I have a section called website and user tester jobs get paid for testing websites. So the two most popular tutorials in this section are the user testing application, how to pass the test, where I give you tips and tricks on how to pass the test to become a tester. It's not difficult. You just need a microphone. Well, you could use your computer microphone, but it might not be as clear as if you had a external microphone. For this video, for example, and for the one that I did to pass the test, I used the microphone, uh, it's called, which one? I have several microphones. This one I used is the Blue Yeti Nano. Actually, any of the blue microphones are fine. I have also the normal Yeti. Um, my sister has the Snowball and it's also really good. I'll post a link in the description below if you want to check that out. But basically it gives a nice clear uh, sound to your voice, really easy to understand. And essentially what this job is, is basically you get paid to test a website out to see if it's easy to navigate, easy to find information, and different people who own websites will pay for testers to test their website to see if they need to make any changes so it is more user friendly. I also have a three part review uh, where I talk about how hard it is to get jobs. Now these were all done about a year ago and now that we're in 2020, I haven't actually gone to user testing in a long time and I know that they have made some changes. So I'm gonna go ahead, switch over here and we're gonna log in and see if anything has changed since the last time I logged in, which I have heard it has. So I'm gonna go ahead, click log in. Okay, so it says, welcome to your new test feed. We heard your feedback and made it easier to navigate our platform. You can now review, remove, and qualify for tests in a more streamlined way. We think these changes will improve your experience and make testing more enjoyable, learn more here. So you can go ahead, right click and open this up if you want to look at more information about their news feed. I'm just gonna click on see test feed and we'll look at it together. So right here you can see all of these different tests. Some of them are quite uh, interesting, $30. You'll be scheduled to speak with a customer live about a website or prototype they're testing using video conferencing software. Please be prepared to discuss your thoughts and observations in real time. So this one you would make $30 and you would do this live by talking with video to someone about their website. If you wanna try the job, click take screener. Now again, if you click take screener, this doesn't necessarily mean you will qualify. You're gonna to have to fill out a little survey. There are six questions here to see if you will qualify for this. Now, I'm not interested in doing a live conversation. I just don't like that sort of thing, so I'm not interested in this. So I can just click on the X here if I don't want to take this test, okay? This one, they don't need any other requirements. This is $10. I'm gonna fill out this survey. Oh, interesting, I qualified for this, which is crazy. It says, great, you qualify. Scenario, you have just signed up for a free version of an email marketing tool and are interested in viewing the email templates available. I'm gonna click accept. No, just said this test is no longer available. I didn't click it fast enough, very frustrating. Some of these are only available on the iOS or Android smartphone. Again, this is another one that's live. I like that they tell you with these little bubbles here if it's live or not. If you don't want to do one, again, you just click the X. So as you can see, there are 12 available tests right now and these are constantly changing and updating so there is work available uh, now it's just switched to 13. you can also keep this page open and there will be a ding if you qualify for something so you can see here i qualified for this 
and it's basically making me install the extension. And I just have to click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and allow it to activate my microphone and it's giving me 14 minutes left to start the test. Okay, I was having some trouble starting the recorder because I already had my microphone on, but eventually I got it working. Okay, so I was very excited to report that I qualified for that $10 survey, and as soon as it said you qualify, click the button because that first one I missed and this one I got. So as you can see now, when I go to completed tests, you'll see that these ones I did here, this one I did in 2017, that was $3, that was just when I got accepted. And then I didn't do anything with it. I never even thought to try going for tests. And then when I did my last two tutorials, I did one on the 27th of October, which was I made $10. And the other one was in November of last year, and I made $10. And the one I've just done now, and this is the first time I've opened up user testing probably since uh, last year and I qualified for two tests and the first one I missed because I didn't click it fast enough but this one I got and so I've just recorded it I just spent 16 minutes recording it and I was talking a lot probably more than I should have um, and that was ten dollars so that's ten dollars uh, US dollars in 16 minutes which is not bad so right now it says not rated and it's pending and if they approve you know if I can click here click details and basically what I had to do in this test was, a test was I had to open up the website, I had to tell them my first impression when I landed on the page and told them what I thought was missing from that page. Then they basically gave me a situation. They told me, um, you have this certain job, this is how much money you make, we want you to fill out the informa this information on the website and see how long it will take you before you can get a quote or whatever. Um, basically, they want me to evaluate their competitor's website and have me tell them what I thought was easy about the process and what I thought was difficult. And then in the last task, it was a written response, which I accidentally um, said it out loud as well, but I don't think that hurts. Um, and so then I finished it and I submitted it. Okay, so now I'll wait to see if they approve it. I imagine they will. I did have some problems um, with the screen recorder. It was kind of pausing and not letting me do it. So then I, it still said it was recording my computer screen. So I switched to Firefox to open up that website they wanted me to look at and continue. I don't know whether or not that was okay. We'll see when I, if I get paid for the test, but I imagine it will be okay. So one thing, that I think you should do before you start clicking on all these surveys is make sure you have the browser recorder installed. I will link this um, Chrome extension in the description below this video. It's the user testing browser recorder. Um, I'm going to remove it from Chrome so I can show you how. So basically all you'll do is click add to Chrome, then you'll click add extension. They gave me 15 minutes to start doing the test so I was trying to quickly install this and get it all set up. I was using my microphone to record the video, so it wasn't letting me, um, letting user testing open this recorder because I was already using my microphone with Camtasia recording the video, so I had to quickly stop it. And then it should be popped up right here. So if you click on your little extension icon, scroll down, it, you'll have the user testing browser recorder and it should be all ready to open if you, um, and this should be all you need to do when you get accepted for a test, you just have to accept um, the recorder and I'll give it permission to record your voice and from your microphone and to record your screen. Always make sure to plug in your microphone if you're using an external microphone before you click start test um, and then click start test so that way it will have the screen recorder connected to your microphone as well. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm refreshing these and I still have 14 different available tests. You can also make sure to download the app on your Android smartphone or your Apple smartphone because there's all sorts of different tests here. You can see all of these ones don't actually allow you to do it unless you're on the app. So when you go ahead to the App Store or to Google Play, you're going to type in user testing and download the app. And once it has downloaded, you can go ahead and click open. 
From here, you have to type in your email address and your password to sign in or create a new account if you haven't already done so. Then they will show you all of the different tests that are currently available. And you can click Take Screener to see if you qualify for the test. You will see a lot of, I'm sorry, you won't qualify, and you're going to have to try quite a few before you get accepted. Now, I tried all of the different ones on the app, which is about six of them or seven of them, and I didn't qualify for any of them. Now, the screeners were really quick. I found out I didn't qualify within 10 seconds or something, but it is a little bit of a waste of time if you cannot get qualified for any of them. Uh, I was lucky today, and I got qualified for two different tests within 15 minutes or so when I was making this video by doing the ones on my computer. So for me personally, I've never actually done a one on the app and got accepted for it, but I have done several on my desktop and been accepted. So I would recommend trying out the laptop first and of course check out the ones on the app as well. It can't hurt. So my overall thoughts are that there are lots of different tests available. And every so often you get really good ones that you can make 30 to $60 if you're willing to dedicate an hour of your time talking live with someone on video chat. I'm not interested in that, so I haven't really done the screeners for those. So once the test I just did today gets approved, that'll be a total of $43 I've made from the website. And I'm not on the website all the time. I've only done a couple tests because I'm, I, you know, I make my money as a freelancer, so that's my main job. But I've done these different videos um, to test out these websites for you to see if you can actually make money. So if I was sitting around trying all day to get different tests, and let's say I made 10 or $20 a day just on user testing, that would be really good. Again, that would be a really good day. I was surprised that I was accepted for two different tests within you know, 15 minutes. So I don't know if they've just changed and they have easier ones or if I just was lucky. Either way, I would definitely recommend getting an account, trying to get accepted, because if you have a little bit of extra time, this is easy money that you can make. But of course, it's only easy once you get accepted. And that's the hard part, is not doing the test and making the money. It is um, passing the screener to be able to do the test, okay? So either way, I recommend you try to get an account with user testing just to see if you can make some extra money. Even if you were able to do two tests a month, that's an extra $20. That's your Netflix and your Spotify premium account or money towards your phone bill or something like that. I will be creating more videos on different testing websites that I've heard about, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on tester website jobs and other different ways to make money online. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.